Hey all my movie maniacs out there, it is that time, it is I. Welcome to the final cut and we're going to go right into today's review of Insidious Chapter 2. Brought to us by director James Wan who did the first one and he's brought original writer back Lee Winnell to give us this continuing story of the Lambert family, the most cursed family I swear in a long time, who are still being tormented and scared out of their wits by demons and ghosties from the further. And we watch how they investigate into a childhood secret to try to figure out answers to why the spirit world's still bleeding out and giving them such a hard time. I didn't expect I would enjoy Insidious 2 as much as I did, folks. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean it. And maybe it was because it was the packed house and I was the oldest one in the audience and everybody jumping and screaming. And Maybe that was part of my enjoyment. I'm not sure, but I do know that director James Wan took everything in the last half hour of Insidious that I loved and made, put all of those into a full-length feature film, and I was very happy about that. Now, if you check out my review over at WeLiveFilm.com about the first one I did for Horror Thursday, you can see what I, how I felt about this. So, going into this film, I didn't have huge high hopes. A lot of hype and that. I'm like, okay. And then I get in there, and I just had some fun with this. Uh, you know, the, the, there were some jump scares in there, which you will get in every horror film, but there's a lot of creepy moments in here as well. And the way James Wan directs this, it had that old school 80s feel all over it, which maybe added to my enjoyment. I, I just loved how he directed and framed some things, and then there was the music as well, added with the way it was edited and directed to help build tension at the right moments where you needed them to be in a horror film. You get that in here, and he, he does it classic like 80s type style the music really sounds like it came right from the 80s i loved the uh, uh the score in here that just helped add to the tension of the scenes and then you get the great performances from the original cast and you can tell they've refined their characters a bit because i thought the acting by everybody was a lot better in this one by the newer actors uh and then you get barbara hershey back you get lynn shea back and then they've got an addition of a new character carl played by steve coulter and i loved his character Character. He talked to the dead uh, through using dice, and I thought that was a great shtick that they threw in there. What also they threw in here, this film had to borrow from at least five different classic 80s themes, you know, stories in here. And I love that. I mean, as it played out, I'm like, oh, I know what movie he's 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 going for there and what movie influenced him there. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, well, I, I don't want to give all the films away because uh, it may give away part of the plot as well. Uh, you know, and there, the only thing, you know, was PG-13, and I, you know my rant about it, and I may do a video later, because I had some other issues with the audience, though, at the time, uh, but getting back to Insidious 2, folks, this was a lot of fun. I, I recommend it to horror fans, especially those who like the 80s horror, because you're going to look at this and go, this is like an 80s horror film, made a little bit more modern style, but still uh, giving some classic shots and some classic feels and classic storylines that we got out of the 80s horror. I highly recommend it to the horror fans out there to go see it. I give it, yes, I didn't believe I would be giving it five stubs. Yes, folks, I, I enjoyed this more than the first one. I, I'm going to be getting it when it comes out on disc, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, it just, it's a lot of fun. I, I had as much fun with your next and this one both. Give me hope for the widescreen horror films that are coming out, uh, because the first half was all right, but these last two really have hit the nail on the head for me as a, a horror fan and me really enjoyed both of those, and I think you will too. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.